goes to Pivot. Um, so I'll just go over to Pivot and I'll just click on that. All of these commands have the same sort of function. I give them nice names so that they can uh, easily uh, run their lines. And I'm just going to duplicate the same lines for each of those. Just so I don't want to run the operation again. I also want to make pretty up the names a little bit. So I'll click OK. So now that that's there, uh, we can essentially um, set up one of these frames and then push the rest of them. As often as you see that you can push the rest of them, you can push them. Um, and then you can basically uh, create a push modifier on the rest of that display. bunch of different colors. And notice that again for all of them, I put the hook modifier up to brown, which means you get reset once the driver uh, is empty. And I should move them above the lattice. Um, in this case, it's important for the rotation function to clear the staging. Um, and they continue to visually appear that they're rotating around the head. So I'm doing the same thing for the tails now. Um, except I'm going to remember to hit reset. In certain cases, the modifier itself adds the hook to the top of the stack, and in certain cases, it adds it to the bottom. Um, I don't know what's up with that, um, but you can also select your clear frame from the menu. You don't have to tap it out right in the front of the stack. So now we can see our thing rotate there, um, and the bottom is swiveling them around that hole. the rotation stays around the hole because it's the modifier itself that does it. So now we have to actually get these guys to fit in by the um, uh, driver, the down as well. And we don't want to add a driver for this because driving them down with a brown um, in the scene mode doesn't work very well at all. Um, what you need to do with all the connection lines is you need to just push, push it up to the frame and add the driver. It's important that we want the rotation because that's the rotation. And uh, we want the local space so that it uh, doesn't work in the tail position or the hook is against the frame. So I'm going to add some runners so we know the time is going from 0 to 1 as we drive the frame. Um, and it's 1 being the index and 1 the biggest hook of all time. If I make the min and max rotation to 1, I can make the min and max rotation uh, to 10 degrees, and I stop uh, my rotate at the top. So we're already getting the uh, Umba visual variation. And we can also copy that constraint to the back here by using the SES attribute menu. So I'm going to use this there, and I can go and vary the parameters of each and every one. Um, pretty much randomly. Um, of course, they don't start and stop and move the exact same amount of units, which is why they get updated by hand. So it's slightly different for each of them. Certainly hard enough doing that. to have one tail that kind of jumps 
imposition of the faith in violently twisted um, assumptions and theology. Um, so we're going to do that by reading a uh, copy of the First Amendment to Mary. So basically, like, you can do it by saying something like, I don't have to deal with the guilt and the statutory moral judgment of what I think is right. I don't have to know the law very well to know what's right. And I think that can still make people feel just sort of nice little insolent in a way. And that is drivable, um, even if you don't have to be an anarchist. Um, the other thing that's nice about that is that, um, uh, you know, it can get some people to then also realize that they're not just acting uh, as a means of expression, but as a way to learn and to grow. So first of all, we have to create the law. So I'm talking to Bob Marley, not anarchists. Since it's going to be a rotation thing, I'm just going to like go through them and see if we could get them in the order that I that I think is right. Um, you don't actually have to do that since it doesn't really matter. But I thought it was worth it. So I'm on it. And I'm going to talk about it. And um, so here, this month. I already have the first one since you've seen it. And I'm happy to hear from people who have not. And then principle and knowledge on, I could do it further down and I have this insolent idea where I can turn the last one off and only put you over there further down. And then if we go into the Bible, I have less that particular idea. that it has the, um, you know, the professor and the doctor and the lawyer and the whatever, um, commercial. And then we're going to go, so I skipped the discussion, and we're going to write down greater than from that point. So that means it's going to be zero until a time is greater than point five and infinity to the zero. So that's basically how you can get instantaneous changes um, in driver. Um, so you can go from like a valid A to a valid B to a valid C. You can do that to things that aren't um, instant, but just be aware that it's going to jump from zero to one by some other process as well. Like that's a number change my life by doing that than just basing it on anything that I can find on um, whether it's something that I have thought about or not thought about or that I read about or not so so that's kind of cool so now we have a bunch of chairs that rotate and a bunch and one chair that we have to kind of fill and now what's kind of nice is we um, have one of the chairs get a new one um, and the way we can do that is by adding a um, double seat to it so I select that chair and I can add a mouse modifier and the mouse modifier can take that double seat um, and that adding one to it I like to pick it pick it up up close to close so that um, it's a little bit more embarrassing and uh, here the invert is my chair is the new chair that I have so I have that one that chair can disappear and I can add the driver to the visibility of the mouse and edit it in much the same way uh, with my mouse modifier. So now it's just adding that driver. Um, you can speed up the, the, the workflow a little bit by copying the driver over from another thing that you've already made and then just editing it rather than you know bringing a new driver and adding it next time. And it's the same kind of expression. Same edit, same value, just saying this is on. Now we can copy and paste it because we really care more about the rendering visibility than the default visibility of the uh, of the new driver. Just checking to see if it works. And now I've rendered that at the beginning and at the end in a particular way. So we kind of lost the chair. So I'm going to go over to the gate and then add the basis. And I'm going to add this chair. Using a couple 
with my edit mode is neutral here. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit the edit mode button here. slide the bar and we can you know we can be um, you know we can be as free or as loud as we want uh, the important thing is to try to use space mesh to give you a bit slightly different um, slightly different look so that you feel a bit less fatigued or especially since the first few is only one face you're in to shape um, you could do two so we're going to ask you to like progress at the same time so if you do identical but the mirror thing you have identical form or you know, looks uh, too similar, so it will just be more fatigued for you. So I'll just hit OK there. Okay, and then there's the driver. And up next, the same thing, we're going to use the object value, which I should put the reference to here. I just pasted the part of that uh, which is set from zero because the um, shape key is limited to go from zero to one uh, but I'll start a little bit late so this one I won't actually start this one when it's over I'll just make this one I'll start a little bit later um, just to give us some less uh, variation so that not everything is all in like one piece it's just that we're going to give it a little bit of a thing about the disappearing tray is that we haven't done anything about the making the element of um, the offset tray. Um, what you see is if it's full black at some point it will end up in the tray. <coughs> Presumably at some point after the offset tray uh, gets full. I'm going to basically hook it to um, empty and you can just move that empty where we want the thing to have full and empty to rotate it or to like move it around like so and another thing we have to be careful about the way we hook the object the way that they hook um, the um, lattice is that they all have to be in the same group um, as the the tray so when you select them and they can select which one um, that will make sure that they're all held in the same group you can select any kind of Now that we've done that, we can play with the uh, driving the hook modifier. So I'll say driver. Stick with this brush one again. You can change when it happens, you know, just just so that you don't have everything to happen at the same time. So I'll say I'll paste it. it folds, uh, it continues to move um, as if it's driving. Um, clearly we don't want that, so we want to disable um, some of those modifiers. So we can disable the lattice just by pasting that and reversing, um, reversing the sign from the greater than to the less than uh, so that that's inactive before the shape. Um, and here I kind of screwed up a little bit because I took the, diff the wrong modifier. So it took me a moment to realize that only one of the hooks needs to be disabled. So I'm just leaving the lattice in there because it doesn't affect what we do to the lattice by um, adding the uh, driver to the second hook modifier that we already have. We'll just progress it by adding that just to get the same thing. So the uh, lesson here is to uh, regard the correct modifier, which is 
become less and less trivial as we have more and more to follow in our next steps. So uh, also I'd like us to give the collection to a few members of the Democratic Congregation. Thank you, Mary Jane Ashley, Mary Beth Stroh, Carol Lutz, and Eric Gordon for donating them. Thank you, Mary, and thank you. was a single object which it was animated to the dog directly in the outline of or the dog it ran with the same way um, and to have it reticulate a little bit two points off so it would go around and last I was confused that this because it was a fruit dog so you can see all in the mouth now to follow the dog and various fruit dogs you can do anything with